We all have days when we're not feeling motivated enough to work on our project. There are various reasons why this can happen, but the most common is that our motivation level has dropped below a certain point. There are a few different theories about why people might be motivated or not, but one fact is constant. Motivation changes over time. It's important to understand how your motivation affects you and others around you in order to keep yourself and those around you engaged. Motivation is a necessary factor for success. Without motivation, you are likely to fail at whatever you want to do. Luckily for you, MANA member, in this video, we will discover things that affect your level of motivation and how to deal with them. One of our biggest everyday challenges is staying motivated. Take a few moments to evaluate five motivation-impacting elements that most people overlook and see if they're affecting you. You have no idea what you want. This is by far the most prevalent explanation for a lack of motivation. Either you don't know what you want, or you don't have enough clarity about what you want. What do you want is the first questions we ask when we perform goal-setting workshops with people or organizations. You'd be shocked at how few individuals can offer us a convincing answer to that question. In other words, what are you hoping to achieve? What would it look like if everything went according to plan, or even better? It's difficult to be inspired to do anything if we're not sure what we want in the first place. In contrast, once we bring those hazy dreams into sharp focus, by setting them down as goals, motivation flows freely. A normal sports enthusiast can give you so many statistics about their favorite team that it will make your head spin. They can provide you with all the information you require on a squad and its players, including speed, points per game, and so on. When asked about personal details though, many can hardly recall what they ate for dinner the night before. It's also not a question of IQ. The truth is that most people are only as intelligent as they believe they are. They wouldn't have such a thorough comprehension of their preferred team statistics if it were an issue of intelligence. It isn't a question of intelligence. It's all about concentration. If you're lacking motivation in an area of your life, it's most likely because you haven't decided exactly what you want. And we can't concentrate on something unless we know what we're striving for. The first cause of most people's lack of drive has an easy answer. Remember that you can't hit something you can't see. Having said that, set down some compelling, exciting goals for yourself in each of these key aspects of your life, physical, financial, emotional, spiritual, and so on. Lack of motivation might limit your ability to act. If you're sick of feeling unmotivated, you're in love. You're about to discover the five most common reasons why you're lacking the motivating energy you need to achieve your goals and how to remedy each one. You'll have the information you need to release the motivational powerhouse within you by the time you've finished hearing this. Here are five little known factors that could affect your motivation. Number one, lack of a good plan. If you're not motivated to achieve your goals, there are a few things that can affect your level of motivation. One of the most important things is a good plan. Without a plan, it's difficult to know what you need to do to achieve your goals. Another thing that can affect your level of motivation is whether or not you believe in yourself. If you don't have faith in yourself, it would be harder to push through the tough times and achieve your goals. Some people believe that having a goal is enough motivation. However, this is only true for the exceptionally fortunate. To be successful, most of us rely on a solid strategy. We all know how excited and motivated we are to reach our goals. But even with the best intentions, motivation is difficult to maintain day after day. Preparing for the journey now will save major issues afterwards. It's crucial to have a supportive community that keeps you coming to workouts together. A coach is strongly advised. Everyone from beginners to pros requires daily guidance from a coach and mentor. Number 2. Too much social influence Too much social influence can have a negative impact on your motivation. One of the most common effects of social influence is peer pressure. When you are around people who are telling you to do something, it can be hard to resist. This is why it is important to stay away from people who try to influence you too much. 
Another effect of social influence is conformity. When you are around people who are doing the same things as you, it can be hard to think outside the box. It's important to find groups of people that speak your mind and challenge you. Finally, social media has created a new form of social influence. People now have access to millions of people all over the world at the touch of a button. This means that they are exposed to a lot of false information. It's important to be careful what information you believe and how you use it to motivate yourself. Telling your friends and family about your high hopes and ambitious ambitions might put a lot of pressure on you. Not to mention the strain of keeping up with everyone's flawless life on social media, which can cause a big undercurrent form of worry that takes away the joy of why you started this experience in the first place. Maintain a low level of stress by concentrating on attaining rather than announcing your objectives. Find one or two accountability partners who can help you stay motivated, focused, and grounded in reality rather than fantasy. Success is self-evident. Number 3. A poor diet. If you're not eating well, your body will start to break down. This process is called autophagy, and it's responsible for cleaning up damaged cells and tissues. When autography isn't working properly, your body can't eliminate waste properly, which can lead to a number of health problems. Not only that, but a poor diet can also lead to motivation issues. When you don't have enough energy, you're less likely to get motivated to do anything. Fortunately, there are a few things that you can do to improve your diet and boost your motivation. First, make sure to include plenty of protein in your diet. Protein is important for energy production and it helps to build muscle mass. Second, make sure to eat healthy fats. These nutrients help you feel full longer and keep your blood sugar levels stable. Finally, make sure to consume enough carbohydrates. Carbs provide energy and help to keep your brain functioning optimally. Most people are unaware of how much of their nutrition influences their mood and motivation. Low energy, poor sleep, insufficient recuperation after workouts, and far too many training sessions are all symptoms of poor dietary habits. When you're wary all the time, staying motivated is practically impossible. Clean eating will improve your attitude and motivation. Clean fresh meals that account for all macronutrients and balanced diet to aid recuperation and keep you thriving into the next session. We believe this should be at the top of the list because good balanced eating goes so much further than the next workout. However, healthy eating speaks for itself, so we are confident that once you address this, your motivation will skyrocket. Number 4. Being overly at ease. One of the most important things is your level of ease. If you are overly relaxed, it will be more difficult to motivate yourself. Conversely, if you are overly anxious or stressed, it will be more difficult to focus and get work done. There are a few things you can do to help manage your level of ease. You can try meditation or mindfulness exercises to help your mind and body. You can also set goals and deadlines to help you stay on track. Finally, take breaks often so you don't become too stressed out. Comfort is the death of motivation over time. It's dangerously simple to stop pushing yourself when we're at ease in our living and training conditions. We can get stuck in a rut if we don't push ourselves to try new things. One of the most common causes of comfortable laziness is setting for complacency. It's critical to continually push yourself outside of your comfort zone, creating new objectives, pushing the envelope, so we are driven to stay motivated and not lose focus by these challenges. Number 5. Your Surroundings A safe setting might be a difficulty for motivation, which is related to the previous argument. Once you've accomplished the significant goal, it's normal and healthy to relax and rest in that secure spot. The danger is lingering in this relaxed state for too long. Whatever success you've had, never forget to aspire higher and bigger. Try adding hills to your running speed. If you're pedaling at a sustainable power level, try adding 5 watts to your next effort in the wind, or even harder downhill or with a tailwind. Continue to strive to overcome your environmental obstacles. Many elements have an impact on motivation, rustic relationships, terrible working conditions, poor food habits, 
and low income are all common factors for demotivation. Many demotivators operate behind the radar, and it's critical to recognize them before they derail our efforts. Take a moment to think about what you can do to limit these hurdles so you can stay focused and feisty. You are capable of completing difficult tasks. Remember that your mind is your most powerful weapon, so do everything you can to maintain a happy, healthy mindset. The Art of Staying Motivated Keeping on track isn't about willpower. It's about dealing with the underlying problems. It doesn't make sense to need to keep motivated if you're motivated. Motivation shouldn't be an issue. Unfortunately, for a variety of reasons, too many of us can run out of gas on a project at work or in our personal lives. And you're not alone. The issue, however, is not always what you believe it is. If you're having trouble moving forward, it's likely that there are other issues lurking beneath the surface. We will tell you a few examples. It's a should, not a wish. It's not your notion, but someone else's. Shoulds are mental rules. You should call your parents, even if you don't feel like it. Or you should take this job, work on this project, or exercise more since it will benefit your career or health. Shoulds are frequently imposed by others. Their rules, priorities, what your friends or the media say, and disobeying them might make you feel guilty or uneasy. Shoulds don't motivate, but wants do. Those visceral reactions, that sense of thrill, that drive. Shoulds run out of gas soon. It's the ones that keep you running. Your objectives are too broad. You're considering going camping. Great. If you don't have a specific destination in mind, you'll either procrastinate and never get started, or you'll get on the road and float around, never settling, becoming confused or lost. This might be a natural aspect of the process. You drive about because you're curious, or like brainstorming. It can be deliberate, a step toward a specific aim. Knowing where you want to go in the end keeps you on track. You become engrossed in the process and lose sight of the goal. Do you actually have the aim in mind? The problem here is that the means and the ends are mixed up. Returning to school is a step toward a new goal of establishing a new career. Getting divorced or learning to restrict your drinking could be a step toward having happier relationships and greater health in the long run. The stages along the route can seem futile and daunting if you lose sight of the end goal. You weren't expecting the dip. You have a clear goal and are committed to it. But after a few weeks or months, you begin to lose interest. Here we discover the gym goers who quit after two months, or the aspiring novelist who has a drawer full of half-finished 50-page novels. The thrill goes off. The middle stage grind slows your progress, and you conclude this isn't working or that you have a better idea. Self-criticism and a crash. Some people can breeze through the starts and middles before crashing at the conclusion. This is frequently due to the critical voice telling them that the product isn't good enough, or panic over others' reactions, or simply being burned out and quitting. We are giving you three tips on how to stay motivated. First, examine your patterns to see where you get stuck. What comes first, middle or end? What's got you down? attempt to resolve the underlying issue. Second, begin with a strong sense of commitment. Make sure you're emotionally committed to the project. Check your gut. Would you want to do this if no one forced you to or if you weren't paid to? And lastly, have a clear vision. Focus on the end goal. Changing your appearance rather than sticking to a diet, finishing and attempting to publish that manuscript, or leading a healthier lifestyle. Consider what you can do immediately to combat the slump, such as enlisting the help of friends or breaking down what you need to do into smaller everyday activities so you don't feel overwhelmed. To minimize burnout, set a place with reasonable deadlines. If you know you can be harsh with your work, you can get the feedback you need from others to continue on track or to boost your bravery to share your achievements. Staying motivated isn't about sheer willpower. It's about understanding your own issues and devising solutions to address them. 
you may improve your strengths by learning to work around your deficiencies. People may have many reasons for engaging in a particular behavior. Extrinsic motivation occurs when a person is motivated by external factors, such as other people or prizes. Intrinsic motivation is when the inspiration comes from within, the drive to improve at a certain activity. Intrinsic drive tends to push people harder, resulting in more satisfying outcomes. The Maslow Hierarchy of Needs, created by the American psychologist Abraham Maslow in 1943, is one paradigm for understanding motivation. According to Maslow, humans are naturally motivated to improve themselves and reach their full potential. Self-actualization by gradually encountering and satisfying various levels of need ranging from the most basic, such as food and safety, to higher order needs for love, belonging, and self-esteem. Maslow eventually expanded the theory to include a desire of self-transcendence. People achieve the pinnacle of growth and find the most significance in life by paying attention to the things other than themselves. Although Maslow's universality has been questioned, many people believe it captures essential facts about human motivation. That's it for this video, MANA member. Remember to subscribe to our channel, and if you feel like we delivered value, please share this video with one person. That's right, just one person, as a token of your appreciation for the hard work we put into making content that educates and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. Remember, you can watch video after video, but it isn't until you actually take action that you'll start to see results. See you on the next one.